with the election season upon us here in Winter Park, the Winter Park Chamber of Commerce would like for you to get to know our candidates for seats one and two for our city commission. Today, we're gonna to ask three questions to Sheila DeCicio, and we're thrilled that you joined us. Thanks so much for being with us today. So we'll start with something pretty easy and basic. We would love to know what uniquely qualifies you and your background and experience to serve as city commissioner. Thank you. I have lived in Winter Park for 37 years. Both of my children were born and raised in Winter Park. They attended schools in Winter Park. We know the playgrounds, the parks, the side streets, the cut-throughs, the community centers. There's not much we don't know. We know the, the, the shops. I have been an attorney in Winter Park since I moved here 37 years ago. I started with the Lowndes, Drostick, Doster, Canner, and Law, Reed Law Firm. I represented a broad spectrum of clients from business developers, small businesses, large businesses, title companies, utilities, corporations, large and small. I became a litigator there and I know how to ask tough questions. I know how to go negotiate all types of contracts and I know it from a litigation side. When you get in trouble, I know what to look for. I became their first woman partner. After about 10 years, my two children were born and I needed more flexibility, so I joined my husband's law firm. We built an office on Morse Boulevard, small business owner, was a member of this Chamber of Commerce for almost 20 years. I know what it means to be fiscally responsible and to run a business. I have been involved with the city of Winter Park for many years and I've served on many boards. First board I served on was with the uh, Code Compliance Board for five years, I was their chairperson. I served on planning and zoning for six years. I just came off in May. I'm also on the Economic Advisory Development Board, and I just finished on the Orange Avenue Overlay Board. In addition, I've also volunteered quite a bit. I'm on the Winter Park Land Trust, Winter Park Rotary, Council of 101 for the Museum of Art, and I've done things just like I clean up the lakes when Winter Park has a lake cleanup. I've served food at my children's events Full disclosure, they're all grown up now. I'm an empty nester. I, I have decided after almost 40 years of practicing law to step back so that I can devote my time full myself full time to being a full time commissioner. I think the job requires it and I think in order to do it right, you need that kind of time. So I believe that all of the above qualities and experiences make me in the, put me in the best position to be the best candidate for commissioner. Wonderful. Thank well, it's you. great to know that you've got some experience with the chamber. Mm -hmm. As you know, we're focused on advocating for the needs of the business community. Yes. And our viewers will be interested to know what plans do you have to support the business community in Winter Park if you're elected? I think we have to listen to the business community. And I have been listening to them for the last, especially for the last few months and, and prior to that, to being a member of the business community. The one issue, and it's not actually just businesses and whether they're large or small, the residents, is our infrastructure. That means our traffic, our parking, and our drainage. It is a huge problem. We need to work on that. One thing that we could do to immediately help them is on Orange and Fairbanks, there are no left turn lanes. So if one car wants to turn left, it backs traffic up for three, four, five light changes. If we just can put in those lane changes, left turn lanes, traffic on those two very, very busy and dangerous intersections will improve greatly. And that's just one small thing. Flooding is an, another problem for a lot of our small businesses. The second thing that I think we have to do is we have to look at our codes and our ordinances. Business is changing. The model is changing. A good example of that is retail. Businesses have changed dramatically with online buying. So we have to make sure our codes are helping our businesses to thrive in the community. So again, we need to listen. I would go out and I would ask them and talk and say, what, please, open door. What is working for you? What isn't working? What can we do as a city to help you and to help your business thrive? Great. Our final question is, what change do you most want to influence as a city commissioner if elected? Again, I want everyone to have a voice. And that means listening and being accessible. I want to make sure that our infrastructure gets looked at and actually something gets done on it, the things that I mentioned just a few minutes ago. I want to look at our codes that I mentioned, but the other thing is I want to maintain 
what I call the heart and soul, the charm, the ambience, the scale of Winter Park, because I believe that is what makes people want to come, work, live, play, eat, shop here, all of the above. In order to do that, we have to be smart about our development. We need development. De development's necessary for change, but it has to be done right so that it complements the businesses and the residents in order for everyone to thrive. I truly believe that we're the stewards for the next generation, and I want to leave this city better than we found it and what we have it today. So I promise to work with the businesses to make that happen. Great. Thank and finally, you. is there anything you'd like people to know about you that we haven't discussed? Oh, <laughs> please, I want everybody to feel free. Open door, please go to my web website, SheilaForWinnerPark.com. You can contact me via email, telephone. Uh, I'm running for seat two, and I want everybody, please vote on March 17th. Early voting starts on March 17th, and the uh, ballots will be sent out, early voting ballots will be sent out on February 6th. So please vote, and hopefully vote for me, Sheila DeCicio, Winter Park City Commission seat two. Sheila, we wanna thank you for your thank time you today. So for those of you that are interested in getting more information, we'll have information at our candidate forum on February 7th at 8 a.m. here at the Winter Park Chamber of Commerce, or you can watch it live on Facebook or parked on Facebook after the event. Track us at winterpark.org for more information about the upcoming election. And thank you for joining us for three questions.